People all over Maine are getting called back to their offices in the coming week. Some are ready to go. Others are a little nervous and some fear for their lives. This is leading to some strained conversations between employers and their employees. We learned yesterday that Randy Kirschbaum, a DJ and manager at WPOR and WCLZ Radio in Portland for decades, has been let go over her health concerns around returning to the office. I spoke with her today. I, I love my job, but I'm not going to die for it. You may not know her face, but that voice. Randy Kirschbaum has been a fixture on the Portland radio scene for 38 years, but she got her start in Boston in 1970. I'm really sad that I didn't make it till June 1st because then I could have celebrated my 50th anniversary. Kirschbaum, like so many of us, has been working from home, doing her job on air and in her management position for the past six weeks. She says it was going great, but Kirschbaum says she found out on Monday that Saga Communications was terminating her. My doctor had told me that I needed to continue to work remotely, and they gave me an ultimatum and said, if you don't come in, then uh, you'll be let go. So I was let go. Saga Senior Vice President Chris Forge says Kirschbaum agreed that she would come back to the office when Saga asked, but then refused. He claims she refused to give up her management position for lower pay. It is virtually impossible to lead a team from somewhere other than where your team is. We were left with no other choice other than to, to lay her off. It's a matter of semantics. You know, they can call it a layoff if they want, but they were not intending to ever bring me back. Kirschbaum's mother died of pulmonary fibrosis, a disease for which Randy says she is genetically predisposed. And what can trigger it is a respiratory virus, a serious respiratory virus. So if I were to get COVID-19, there's a very good chance that it would trigger pulmonary fibrosis and I would maybe have two to five years to live. So it's very important for me to avoid exposure. Kirschbaum and her husband, Ken, have been extremely careful. They are quarantined, getting groceries curbside, visiting with their adult children through windows. Because I am considered high risk, uh, I have special protection under the Americans with Disability Act that they need to uh, give me an accommodation. Will she hire an attorney? I've had contact with several who would be very interested in taking the case. Um, right now, I'm just still sort of numb. Kirschbaum just wishes she could personally say goodbye to her fans who've listened to her for so long. I'd like to thank them for, for being there. There's so much you can do for the community with the platform of radio, and I've been so blessed to be able to do that for 50 years. Saga Communications is paying Kirschbaum's health insurance for the next six months and continues to describe her current status as being laid off.